Hello, my name is George Aguilar. I am the training manager here at Clayvel headquarters in Costa Mesa. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about our 50B-4KG1 fire protection pressure relief valve. Now the 50B-4KG1 and our 2050B-4KG1 are both the same valve. The differences between the two is our 50B is a globe pattern, as we see here. Our 2050B is our angle pattern. Now both of these valves are, um, are UL and FM approved listed valves. All right, the topics for discussion today are gonna to be the operation, the startup adjustments, along with service and maintenance of the pilot and the main valve. So the operation of this valve is that they're designed to open rapidly on a rise and in inlet pressure. So anything above the pilot setting, this valve is gonna open up. There are normally closed valves. Um, on anything they're sensing inlet pressure on a rise in that inlet pressure, this valve is designed to just open up and relieve that high pressure and then slowly close as that system pressure gets back to its normal setting. So generally, uh, these valves will be installed on the discharge of fire pumps to help regulate any overdrive from a diesel pump or to regulate pressure during fire pump tests to help circulate uh, return pressure as well. So our 50B 4KG1 data sheet. This data sheet, you will find this data sheet online. Again, on the left hand side, you will find that they are UL listed and FM approved. And on the bottom of that page there, you will see that they are uh, the sizes that that listing carries. So the UL and ULC listings are three through eight inch. Same as the FM approval, three inch through eight inch as well. So here we're gonna watch a quick video on the operation of this valve. Again, this valve is a normally closed position. It's waiting for a, a high pressure event. So if our inlet pressure is set at 35 or our inlet pressure, static pressure is at 35, our CRL is set at 60. Not until we see 60 PSI on the inlet will that valve open. It is a modulating valve. So this valve doesn't fully open. It, it is modulating to relieve whatever is excess in that system. Um, it doesn't care about flow rate, regardless of flow, regardless of, uh, of downstream pressure. All it's worried about is anything over that 60. Let's watch that one more time. So, again, one more time. The CRL is set at 60, our inlet is at 35. And as soon as our inlet pressure starts to rise, you can see we're at 40, 50, 60. Just at that point, that valve opens up a little bit. As that pressure continues to rise, the valve will modulate open as needed, as much as needed to relieve any of that excess pressure within the system. So now our startup and adjustments. Again, referring back to our website, you're gonna to wanna to uh, check our website out for the installation operation maintenance guide, which is the quick manual for our 50B-4KG1. All right, on this page here, you'll find installation along with operation and startup procedures. All right, you'll find maintenance, and then you'll find a troubleshooting chart on the bottom right hand side. That troubleshooting chart just gives you some tips and some information to go through um, when you're out in the field on troubleshooting this valve. On the back side of that, you're gonna find a schematic. You'll find an exploded view of the main valve along with a pilot, spring ranges, and the different components that make up the 50B 4KG. So let's go ahead and get started on the startup here. Okay, so let's go ahead and go through the startup procedure on our 50B4KG1. So the, the valve that I have in front of me here, this is our 2050B-4KG1. The difference between the 2050 and the 50 is that this 2050B is an angle pattern main valve. All right, that's the only difference between the two. So on the 2050B here, I'm gonna move this sideways so you guys can see the 
the pilot system here. Now, if this is a new startup, a new valve, these pilots do come preset, um, a factory setting of depending on the spring range. Um, it could be 60, it could be 120, and so on. So these do come preset um, at, this is a 20 to 200, so for example, this will be preset at 60. All right, so it's important, again, if this is a new install, if you were to install this on the valve and then bring your valve online or you introduce pressure to this valve, if that current system pressure is above 60, this valve will open and flow water, okay? So to prevent that from happening, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this black cap. We're gonna loosen up this jam nut here. And I have a 3 8 nut driver here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go clockwise. I take it clockwise a handful of turns. Remember, if I look at my IOM, that we referenced earlier. On the back side, we have the pilot ranges and we have the PSI per turns. So the PSI per turn for a 20 to 200 pilot is 28 PSI per full rotation. Clockwise will always increase. Counterclockwise will decrease. So if I go clockwise, I am raising the set point of the CRL to make sure that my main valve stays closed. So I increase that, I, I start my pumps, right? I introduce pressure to my valve. At that point, you have water pressure going through your pilot system. Water pressure onto the cover, water on the cover is going to close the valve. This CRL pilot is closed no water is coming out the discharge. That tells you that you are currently above the system pressure that you're bringing to the valve. So now if we want to set our CRL, going back here, if we want to set our CRL and our pilot is currently closed, what we're gonna do again is if we have our, CR, uh, our nut driver, if we go counterclockwise, you're gonna make your adjustment slow counterclockwise until you start to hear water coming out your relief valve or until this valve opens up. So I'm going counterclockwise just until the point where I start to see water coming out, the discharge. When water is coming out, I'm going to look at the gauge on my system, not the gauge that's on the valve, this gauge that's on the valve is only telling you what the pressure is on the cover. It's not telling you what your system is. So you wanna make sure that you look at your system pressure. You're seeing water coming out. That's when you know what your CRL is currently set at. So at that point, you go clockwise until the valve is no longer discharging. And now your valve is set at your current pressure setting. A rule of thumb is uh, that your relief valves are set somewhere about 10 to 15 pounds over system pressure, over that high pump uh, pumping pressure. So it's important for you to understand what your system uh, demands as far as where the relief should be set. But you find the CRL, you set the CRL where your current pressure is, and then make your adjustments accordingly Maybe it's a half turn, which would be about 14 pounds uh, and change on this pilot um, or whichever pilot it is that you have, but make your adjustments accordingly and now your valve is set. So that would be your startup of your 50B 4KG1. Mm -hmm.